showing you how I'm setting up my site might be very helpful to get you going. So let's start from the beginning. I typed in UWM SOAS Web Student. Hit enter and these are the links I got. So the one that looks most promising is the SOAS IT Tutorials. So let's go there and see what it offers. Great. Yep, we're in the right place. So this student website is the one where you want to go. And I'll scroll down here a bit. <coughs> and then what matters most is how to access the SOAS site. You first need to go register. And this is where you click to go register. You give it your <coughs> SOAS, um, sorry, your, your Panther ID. And, and then you create a different password from your normal one. Because this site is not part of your normal ID, so do not use, use your normal password. Use something else. And there you go, and you set it up, and then you should be ready. So the real site would be, um, let's say your name is Susan, so http com. And so I did that. Um, I've set mine up, and I remember in the past I created some folders there. So I typed it in. There you see on top, I've got it straight here. But wait a minute, where is this? Well, the problem is, folks, I don't have an index.html file right at the root level, so it kind of just throws up the directory structure. You can also set it that it will say nothing, but mine throws this up. So, hmm, that's what we got for now. So how can we fix that? So now you've got your site, you've set it up, you go there and you'll see either some kind of an index of and nothing there because you haven't done anything there, but that's good news, you know that you've got your site. So now you go and download FileZilla, and I'm going to switch to FileZilla now, and we're going to together go through this. What you want to do in FileZilla, this is then your site if you're connected to it, and this is your hard drive where you locally are. So I need to then find the spot where I want to be, and I created a folder for myself called SOAS Web. There we are, and you can see there's nothing in there. Okay, so no problem. Um, let's now go and set it up. So you go to File and then Site Manager. Oh, let's try that. Site Manager. You wait a moment, and I'm going to create a new one, and I'll call it just uh, SOAS. Let's call it SOAS. Okay, where, where are we looking at? We're looking at Jacques. Um, is it sowasuwm.edu? Great, and I know my username. And I think I remember what I said as my password. And there we go. Those are, those are the three things. And now I'm going to say connect and duck. Oh, could not connect to server. Waiting to retry. Maybe um, SOAS UWM is not it. Is it UWM SOAS? Let's go back and see. UWM SOAS. Yeah, okay. We can fix that. So let's go back in and pretend we didn't do this and egg on my face here. Okay, so it's UWM SOAS. Okay, we can fix that up. Okay, let's pretend. Waiting to retry. Okay, we'll let you wait. What? UWM SOAS. Ah, oh, EDU. Hello, hello. Okay, I am <laughs> really slow here today. I beg your apology. It is .com. Uh, easy to be stupid, isn't it? Okay, there we go. And this is the kind of stuff. Computers love it when you're dumb. They just frustrate daylights out of you if you're dumb. Okay, so now I look better. Huh? And let's see if we get in. Yes. Now it says don't trust the certificate. I know I can trust it. So I say, okay. Yes. Well, here we are. Okay. Now, one thing you have to remember, this public.html, that's where you want to be. So all these other stuff, you look at this, ah, just worry about public.html. Okay, I just need to click once on it. Now, remember, on this site, I'm in my SOAS website, and there's nothing there. I've been in here before. I'm going to delete this one just to start over again. So I'm going to say delete it. <coughs> Good. Okay. I've got a silly thing set up here that messes with me, so sorry. So I'm going to grab these guys and drag them here just to 
copy it over and say okay. Okay, I don't know why it's being silly with me, but it's copying everything over. 48 files that it's got to download. Oh, I didn't know I had so much stuff in there. I thought it was just about nothing, but I guess we had a few things in there. Okay. Um, oh, it's going to be slower than I thought. That's not really what I wanted. Oof. Now I got myself in a pickle. But while that's going on, I'm going to try and do the um, other thing, and that is I'm going to click here and say create directory, and I'm going to call it 240. Great. Is it there? Yep, there it is. And I'm going to double click into that. Okay. Okay, it's maybe slow because it's downloading a file right now. If you look at the bottom, queued files, 46 uh, successful transfers, only two. Okay, now we are in 240. This is where we want to be now. Okay, I need an index.html file here now to change my fortunes. So I've kind of prepped a little bit for you. Let's go to Notepad. Okay, this is the stuff I'm doing. Setting up your uh, web space. We've set that up. It's there with FTP. We've been able to get into that. We logged in and that's easy. Every time we can just see the two sites and drag files back and forth. Now we're going to edit the first file and then see if it works. So I'm going to just get rid of all this. Okay, so now I'm going to go and show you something fun. I went to H to W3 Schools and I thought, let's go for a link. And this is where it brought me. Then I clicked on the stride yourself and this is it. So what I want to do now is um, I'm going to call it um, my 240 homepage. Yeah, okay, great. And I want to create an unordered list that is a called a UL. And, and then eventually it will say close it like that. Okay, and inside this I want to have um, my list items. And I'm not going to put the closing tags right now. I'm just going to put uh, three tags there. Oh, brilliant, isn't it? Okay, and one more. Okay, and then inside there, I want, instead of putting this in a paragraph tag as I've got here, I'm going to just say bye-bye to that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to grab this guy, this link, so be lazy. So I cut it, and I'm going to put it in my link. I'll do three of them. And then to be lazy, I'm going to use this guy, copy it, and put it in the back there, and then close it. Okay, now it turns brown instead of red. I'm going to copy that, and we'll close these guys. Great. So now I don't want to go to this site. I just want to go to a folder. Our first folder is going to be, um, what's it going to be? Um, tables. And then forward slash tables.html. Okay, our next one is going to be, there we go, forms. HTML. That looks pretty good. And then this one, now can I remember what this one is going to be? Let's go see. Um, so we've got tables, forms. Our next one is resume. Okay, so let's go take care of that. And we'll just call it resume and do the same thing with that. Nice. Um, Okay, I think I'm kind of done, so let me run it. Nice. So there you can see, yep, everything worked out. It, now, these spaces here don't matter at all. 
you can take them all out. Um, in fact, if I wanted to be silly, but I won't do this, but if I did this, it doesn't matter. These things, but you do that, you change them. So if I run this again, nothing will change. Look, uh, you just do this for to straighten things out and make it look like it should. Okay, so there you go. Um, in fact, in this thing, we don't even have a head tag. We just have the body tag, and we'll go do the head tag later. But so what I can do at this point is I can grab this file. So I say grab it, copy. Okay, now let's go and see if I've got my. Um, notepad up. Yep, I do. I'm going to paste it there. Now, you'll remember it doesn't know what it is. If I go to language and I say, this is HTML, and it's, oh, okay, good. I know what to do with you. Now I need to save it. So file, save as, and wait for something to pop up. And I want to go to my Dropbox because that's where I put everything. And let's see. Um, okay, so... There's Dropbox, great, and that's where I've got web something. Let's see if I can just see it fast. I think it's a W. So is web. There we go. Got it there, and I need to create the folder um, 240 here. So um, new folder. There we go. 240. Okay, that looks happy. Go into that folder, and now. It's marked as hyper language nicely because I switched to it. It then automated this for me. I'm very happy with that. So index, and it will save a .html, and I say save. Nice. So now let's go back to our FTP. Here we are. Um, F5 always refreshes things. So I'll click on this guy, and I hit F5, and it refreshes things. Great. So... In 240, I put an index.html. Here's my 240, so I'm going to drag it over. Okay. Oh, gee, I still got a few queued files. So now we just added another one. Hmm. I was kind of dumb to start a download. But, okay, so it's got it there. While we're in here, I want to go and create some more folders quickly. One is forms, tables, and resume. Okay, so create a new folder. Um, a directory, okay. So one was uh, tables. Say okay. Next one was um, forms. Get good. And the other one was directory. Oh uh, no, resume. Nice. So here we are. This is on the server. It's created these ones. So I'm going to need a forms dot HTML in there, a resume.html, a tables.html. And so what I'm going to do is, um, I let me see, we've got one queued file, so we're really nearly there. So we are in 240. I can now take these guys, and I can drag them back here. There we go. And now what we've got is, we've got the same environment now. Great. We've got this file. So... What I can do now is I'm going to go back to my um, notepad and I'm going to just just declare this thing and call it tables. Um, and I'm not going to mess with this stuff. I'll just leave whatever in there. So I'm going to say file save as. Now it's into 40 and then I want to go into tables. Okay, and I need to change this now to tables. Great, and say save. Then I want to uh, call this forms. Yeah, quick and dirty. Save as. Get out of tables. Go into forms and say save. And the last one I want to do is resume. Thank you, thank you. And let's go and say save as. Get out of forms, go one up, and then go into resume. And say resume there. Okay, nice stuff. Okay, so let's switch back to our environment. I'm going to hit F5 again to just refresh everything. 
So I'm going to go into tables. This one would be empty. This one would have a file in it. Remember, we just put it there. Then I'm going to just drag this guy over. Oh, yeah, you can trust me. Okay, there it is. Then I'm going to go to resume since it's the next one up. And then I'll click on resume. There it is. And I'll drag it over quickly. Just make sure everything is what it should be. And then forms is the last one. Where's forms? There it is. And then drag over forms. Nice. So now let me toggle here. And I want to go to this place. And remember this site? It, but now it has an index.html file. So I'm going to just refresh. Cross my fingers. Didn't work. Please don't embarrass me. Okay, let me go look back here. Okay, go to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what the problem is. 240, yeah, it's got an index file. But at the root, we need an index file. Not just at 240, at the root. Oh, didn't think of that, did I? So there needs to be an index file. Now, if I need to go then from the root into 240, so let's fix this. I'm showing you some fun stuff here. So let's create a file. Um, and I need to, if I wanted to go to 240, now I don't want to go to this stuff, so I'm just going to have, I'm going to say here, 240 is the folder that I want to go to. And what's the file name? Um, it will be called index. That's in 240. And I say visit my home page. And I'll just leave this. No, I'll take this stuff away. Let's be nice to ourselves here. Okay. So that's, and it's not, it shouldn't say home. But it should say uh, website. So that's the website home, but that's not 240's home in my case. Maybe your website is just 240, so you don't have to worry about what I just did here. So I'm going to go save this as, and where do I want to go? Uh, not 240, one up, right there. This is at the root level. And I need to call this index and save. And then quickly go to FTP. That's done now. Okay, go to FTP. So... Yep, so here we are now at SOAS Web. There should be an index file. So I want to be the, there, there I am, and I'm going to say index, drag it over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's this index file. If I access this one and it shows and I click on something, it's going to say, oh, go into 240, which is there, and there's an index file that you want to open up. That's what it will tell if I click the link in there. So now let's see if everything works. Wipe the egg of your face, my friends. Time to, ch to, to run it. Okay, so now there is an index file here. We just put it there. Yes, there it is. So visit my homepage. Now look at the bottom here when I hover over it. Look at the bottom there. It says Jacques, UWM Service Com. Okay, 240 index.html. So click on it. It should go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now if I hover over it, there's your trick. You look at the bottom. You can see where it's trying to go. There should be a tables thing there. There it is. Go back. Now it's going to go to forms. Yes. And then it's going to go to resume. Okay, folks, this is the magic. I hope you like this. And remember to, to know what to set up. You look for these diamonds. You don't have to do the first one because your index file is the first one. So you put in the tables, forms, resume, um, layout. You can just say layout, uh, uh, page template, um, and and then WordPress. And that those are the links that you create on your homepage. And go check things out. Hopefully this has been helpful. I think it's been, been fun for me to show you. And we did it in a nice relaxed way that you can get a feel for it. So work with it. Pause it as you need to. And enjoy. Thanks.